be the change you want to see. There's a golf scramble doing just that. It is next week, July 29th. Tim <coughs> Barnett here, founder and CEO of the Jesse E. Barnett Jr. Enrichment Center. Mm -hmm. You've got the sixth annual golf scramble coming up, powered by Humana Healthy Horizons and Block Change of Louisville. Are you ready yes, for this big golf scramble? Yes, ma'am. We've been preparing for it. Obviously, it's the sixth annual one, so it's something that we do all the time, and we just look to have a good time with it, and it's for a good cause. So you all are doing this. Like you said, your sixth <laughs> annual is going to be at Hunting Creek Country Club. Can folks still join in? Yes, ma'am. So really what you can do right now, you can go to our website, jbcenter.org. You can make donations. Uh, we do still have a couple spots for a couple teams. Um, so if you would like to join again it's JEB junior I'm sorry JEB uh, center.org and you can get all the information there now what's it what do the teams look like I guess four, well basically we're sums? playing the foursomes and it's just a scramble type scramble type event um, after the events over we'll we'll get kicked off around noon we'll serve a little breakfast first and then we'll uh, tee off around noon um, event hopefully ends around 5 30 and then we'll do a kind of a buffet and kind of wrap it all up it's very nice. It's right at Foxcroft Road in Prospect. Beautiful uh, golf course. Yes, man. Really, really good golf course. And at the end of the day, you know, we've been doing this for a long time. It's for a good cause. And through the partnership that we have with JCPS, our goal is to make sure that the dollars that we raise stay within the community. So talk, talk about that. Talk about uh, the Enrichment Center. Talk about why this, this, um, this whole golf event that you're doing. Well, obviously, it's like anything else. You have to generate revenue to be able to create sustainability to do things. So for us, it's a good time to be able to get some of our board members and some of their friends out to learn about the Enrichment Center. The Enrichment Center was founded five years ago, named after my father, um, who passed in 2015. So the things that he instilled in me, we try to make sure that we keep them up and we try to put them back into the young people. So um, there's a lot going on, we know, mm -hmm. right now with JCPS. Yes, ma'am. Uh, so many students uh, are in need. Tell me what programming you all have um, that you're going to, I mean, you're trying your best to get everything that the students need, whatever that looks like. And then what's some of the programming that the proceeds will be used for? Well, one of the main things is our after-school program. You know, as we know, obviously, there's a situation with busing. So what we want to do is to try to be um, another vehicle, another arm to help some people, uh, help some parents to have some transportation after school and then not only have transportation, but to have a safe place where some of them can go at. As we understand, the high delinquency hours are normally between the hours of 2.30 and 5.30. So after school programming is big, so funding for obviously transportation, which is a problem JCPS is kind of going through now, um, and then it's to get staffing to make sure that we have good people there to make sure that there's good things to do when our kids get there. Um, also a big program that we have that we're in partnership with Blockchain of Louisville, and Blockchain is a development, um, redevelopment company, um, minority uh, pr uh, predominantly minority owned that's about helping to create home ownership in West Louisville so our thing is also to be able to partner with them and Millennial Title and be able to preach home ownership and the importance of credit and financial literacy and kind of wrapping all of that into one um, so that's what our mission is I guess when you talk about that um that home ownership, and you've heard a, a, a lot about that, leaving a legacy for your kids mm -hmm. so they have something to hold on to. And that kind of uh, literally can go from um, your child to their child to, to their child. Do you see your programming having to change um, just because the world is changing so much, <laughs> right? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Well, you know, I think that the most important thing is the information. A lot of times there's so much misinformation being out here, it's hard to differentiate what's true and what isn't true. But I think that now if we can continue to put the right information out there and then partner with JCPS and get these young people understanding the importance of credit, financial literacy, and home ownership at 17, 18, then hopefully by the time they're 20, 21, they've built and put themselves 
in a position to be able to do that because to the point you just made, it, it's helping to create generational wealth. And a lot of times, in you know, uh, people in the West End, they don't get the information. So we're making it a point to make sure that we give them the information and then also to give them that information at a younger age. All right, we've got less than a minute here. Anything you need from the community? Well, we just need continued support. We just need continued support. Uh, we just want everyone to know what it is that we're doing in any way that you can help, whether it's volunteering with your time, whether it's uh, sending a small donation, whatever that may be, um, we would just appreciate it. Because at the end of the day, um, our center, we've been here 20 years. We didn't, we didn't just start this. This isn't work that we've just started, uh, but we're constantly changing with the times and understanding what we need to do uh, now to help right now. So. Um, if you're interested in helping, you can go to jbcenter.org. All the information's there from the golf scramble, from the other things that we do. And again, um, any help that you can do, we would appreciate it. All right, there you go. All there, jbcenter.org. And again, the Jesse E. Barnett Jr. Enrichment Center, sixth annual golf scramble, Monday, July 29th, Hunting Creek Country Club. You're invited to come. They've got a few spots. Investigate TV next.